We've got some news that's about to drop for CleanSpark. This is going to be their mining update, and we typically get this at the beginning of the month, any time now. And in this video, we're going to go over my thoughts on their next mining update. We're going to look over the previous mining update. We're also going to look at a couple of things on the chart, as well as a quick glance of Bitcoin. Thanks for joining me today. Consider hitting the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you get something useful out of this, and let's take a look at CleanSpark. So first off, where can you find their mining update when it does drop? Well, you can go on their Facebook, or you can go on their investor relations site. Typically their mining update drops around the 3rd to the 5th, so it will be any time now. It may already be out by the time you watch this. And hopping over to their investor relations, I did want to bring up their last mining update. And first off, a concern, power optimization. This part right here definitely brings me a little bit of worry for their next mining updates to come. The company expects to head into a period of active power optimization over the next few weeks as it balances its portfolio of power agreements with current Bitcoin prices and otherwise seeks to maximize its margin. So it is working on maximizing margins, which that's good, but it does possibly mean that their output overall may be a little bit less. And it goes on to say that they did completely uh, divest out of its energy business, its legacy energy business. But yeah, my worry is how are they gonna do this power optimization? Is there gonna be a couple hours out of the day where they just don't mine Bitcoin or they mine at a very much lower capacity in terms of just getting better margins, better energy to output ratio? Definitely a potential concern. Now, one thing compared to this last mining update, is I do see us doing better because it was at 5.5 exahash and we just recently had news that we reached, we surpassed, I should say, six exahash. In the last update, we had a daily Bitcoin mind of 17.8 average and a high of 19.4. I think December's daily Bitcoin mind average is gonna be somewhere around 18 and a half, if not 19. And we're gonna hit a high of somewhere around 20.5. As we know, they do now have about 60,000 Bitcoin miners going, so that is a 5,000 increase over the last mining update. And like I said, their last hash rate was 5.5. They did announce that they got to 6 exahash. So in December, we want to see a higher number than this, this 535. That means that they're consistently mining more and more as the months progress. And I also want to see their total Bitcoin holdings hopefully go up. I'm of the belief that Bitcoin is getting extremely valuable where it's at. And I also think that the bottom is just about in, if not already in. And as I've said before, we are approaching the one year mark from the halving. Typically, when we get to that point, we start seeing a little pump. This is about four to five months away. So we could have four to five months of pain, four to five months of sideways action, maybe slow rise up. I kind of doubt it, but I do think we have potentially four to five more months of pain. I do think we're close, if not at the bottom. And just keeping with the Bitcoin theme for now, before I get into CleanSparks chart, you'll see we were in this broadening formation and then we finally broke out of it, had a nice little pop we started trading this ascending support, following this ascending support line. Now it did look like it's breaking it. We'll see if we try to hold this previous resistance, which was right around 16.6. We'll see if we hold that as a support. But if not, it's potentially gonna come down and test this previous resistance on this broadening formation. Now, one thing to consider, it was just in November when we hit our recent low here on Bitcoin, 15.6 area, and it has since gained about a thousand points. I personally think in the next four to five months leading up, to that year mark from the next halving. We could potentially come and test these levels, this 15.5. I personally think anywhere we're at 16.6, 15.5 is a great time to DCA, to average in, to add to Bitcoin while we still have this opportunity. I wanted to zoom out and show you guys something a little bit concerning. One thing to see is in our low, our V-shaped recovery, the pandemic low, we hit $4,000 roughly. We are still three times from that point in price and I personally don't think we're going to get anywhere near there, but it is possible for us to come down a little bit more. It is possible for us to break this 15.5. That being said, I think it's time to add to Bitcoin. I really do. And just think about this. During 2017, running all the way up to 20,000, people were so excited. Then things started pulling back, just brought so much fear. Oh my God, Bitcoin's going to zero. It came down to about $4,000. Now, these people at the time when it came down to 4,000 were probably very down and out. They're probably feeling very bad for themselves, thinking, wow, I bought Bitcoin at 16. I bought Bitcoin at 17, 15, whatever. I'm deeply negative. I'm deeply down. Bitcoin's only three, $4,000. And then time goes by and what happened? Well, we had this explosive run. I personally am of the belief that in the next halving, we will have another explosive run as we always have. But that's just my thoughts on Bitcoin. And even though it can potentially go lower, we can test some of these levels maybe even test our 2019 peak which was right around 14,000 but either way i do believe that adding through the fear 
dollar cost averaging, being patient, not being too hasty, will all pay off with Bitcoin. Now, before I get in too long of a speech about Bitcoin, I did want to pull up CleanSparks chart. We were in this falling wedge pattern and we did recently break out of it. You're going to want to watch to see how it behaves out of this. If it does start pulling back in, that's not a good sign. If it shows a little bit of strength, maybe a little bit of sideways action, that's a good sign. I personally think the MACD looks bearish and while the candles are trying to stay above the EMAs, this doesn't last very long. So keep an eye on this. Last time we had a break out of the EMAs, we did pull back quite quickly. So keep an eye on clean spark, especially keep an eye on this 180 area. One interesting thing I do see is we did kind of have a nice little double bottom here when we did hit this area. Shows that there's a bit of support there. But of course there is that possibility it gets broken as we continue this bear market. I personally believe that CleanSpark will stick around and CleanSpark will remain one of the top Bitcoin miners in both renewable energy and Bitcoin production. So make sure you watch out for CleanSpark's next update. We should be getting that mining update anytime now. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below about both Bitcoin and CleanSpark. Are you starting to feel a little bit more optimistic about things or do you think we're still heading lower and lower? Thanks as always guys. Take it easy.